Hey everyone, I'm back. I was really thrilled that my very first Notion template was a pretty decent success, especially as a very small time YouTuber. And I want to thank everyone who watched my demo and downloaded my template and are actually using it. If you're coming across my video for the first time, I linked my free payments and subscriptions template and demo video in my description. So feel free to use it as one of your database examples during our demo today. I'm going to show you how you can create a very simple all-in-one dashboard of all of your tasks from several Notion pages. Even though Notion recently rolled out a new home feature with the ability to link and have access to your tasks, it still has limitations where it doesn't populate all of your tasks in one holistic view. So I'm going to show you how you can create your own dashboard to streamline all of your tasks in five easy steps. Okay, first we're going to start fresh with a new page and you can do that by heading over to your navigation bar and selecting this little icon here or you can also hit the slash command n button on your keyboard and that will help populate a brand new fresh page as well i'm going to give myself a title of my tasks i think i want to add an icon so let's go ahead and do that and i think i'll give myself this little asterisk icon here just because i label all of my tasks with the asterisk icon i'm going to immediately favorite this that way it shows up under my favorites by navigation bar next i'm going to change the width to full view and I'm a huge fan of serif type, so I'm going to select serif as my default style. I'll get my header started by clicking the slash command on my keyboard. I personally prefer header size too, just because it's pretty legible and it doesn't hurt the eye in terms of the size constraints. We're going to add our navigation bar first. We'll add a few default headers for some of the tasks we're going to link up in our all up dashboard. I like to set up my navigation bar with my most important pages that I visit quite frequently. For me, I have about five pages that I'm constantly working in. But I'll change this area by adding five columns and linking those pages for easy accessibility. I'm going to add in my summer template and on top of that, I'm going to add in my content studio book, a shameless plugin for my payments and subscriptions template. I'm also going to include my travel diary because I often visit this one quite frequently and then my yearly goals. All right, now there's my navigation bar. So linking your tasks is really easy. We simply hit the slash command button and we scroll down to the view that we're looking for, or we can actually type in the type of view that you're actually looking for as well. Most often, most of my views are in table view. So I'm just going to click the table view database. And here you can actually now see where all your existing databases are. Select the database you want to use and you can either customize this view or keep it as is and you can hit enter. Okay, let's repeat that step in live view. I'm going to hit the slash command again and I'm going to hit table view. The database I want to use is going to be my subscriptions database. I'll select the view that I prefer, which is actually going to be table. I'm selecting this template because I want it to be the first thing that I see when I open up my Notion, and as you can see, it has now populated. Now I'll add a master task list following the same pattern in the next header below. Hitting a slash command, I'm going to hit table view. This task is going to be in my summer planner, so I'm going to hit tasks and I'm going to hit table view. And then all of my views is populated from this specific database. If you see that it has populated more tasks than you actually wanted, make sure you just head over to the three ellipses button here and just see what the load limit looks like. Just hit the 10 pages load limit or whatever load limit you prefer. For me, it's 10. I'm going to click out and now it's just 10 as you can see. All right, I'll add another database with a calendar view and you can see the process is very easy and quite simple. So I hit slash command. I'm going to hit the calendar view and from the calendar view, I want to see what my travel diary looks like and I'm just going to hit calendar and there we go. You can continue this pattern with multiple databases and they don't have to be just in table view and you can customize this as freely as you'd like. Lastly, in order for this page to be your dominant workbook, we need to make some adjustments into our settings. That way this page will be the first workbook when you open Notion. We will head over to our navigation bar, 
head over to settings and members and we want to hover over my settings and select that under my settings you can see there are a few that you can select from here but we want to actually head over to just open on start right now it's selected as home but we want to select top page and sidebar so select that and then click out head over to your navigation bar again and we just want to double check and make sure that my tasks is the very first page that is favorited under the favorites bar and luckily it is so in order to test whether if this page is going to be the first workbook that opens up when we close and open notion let's go ahead and actually test that out so i'm going to get out of here i'm actually going to close notion in general i'm going to quit and open notion back up and there we go it's actually our very first workbook when we open up notion here's what my all-in-one dashboard looks like i have all my most important tasks trackers and everything that i want to see in one holistic view i hope you found my tutorial incredibly helpful and ultimately gives you a head start in customizing your own notion pages from scratch i had a lot of fun creating this demo as always please subscribe and like my video if you found it very helpful okay see you guys again